Hey, hey everybody. It is me. This is going to be quick. I've been trying to get this scope in, but there's so many other great scopers on doing makeup, talking about events and all this kind of stuff. So I wanted to pop in and see what everybody else is doing. So I'm going to make this quick. I am not going to be here long at all. So for those of you coming in, my name is Peja. I am a Los Angeles based, but currently traveling makeup artist. I give you tips and tricks of the industry. We have Beat Talks, which is where I review products with you guys. And I am also the founder. Hey, Divine Brother, what's up? I am also the founder of the most amazing beauty group on and off Periscope named Beauty Scopers. Hey, Mama Louise, what's going on? Hey, Nirma J, what's going on? So this is going to be quick. This is going to be very quick, you guys. So keep the hearts going. Keep the comments going. Hey, Regina, how are you, beautiful? I'm so happy. Every time I see you, I just love seeing your name. And, um... So this is going to be fast. You guys can obviously look at me and tell that I have makeup on. You guys know that sometimes I give you guys raw face, but today I am uh, almost full faced. Not completely full faced because obviously I don't have eyeshadow on and lashes, right? But I'm almost full faced. Not quite though, right? So if you guys can do me a favor, I'm going to quickly, quickly review a foundation and a setting powder for you guys. Both of these items can be found in your local beauty supply and or drugstores for under $10. And I love the finish. And I've actually had the foundation on for quite a, quite a few, for a couple of hours now, actually, just so that I can see how it oxidizes and how it sets and things like that. So do me a favor, please share on Periscope. And of course, please share on Twitter because this is information that may help or will help save someone else money, right? So we're going to get into it. Um, and then I will also talk to you guys about my lipstick that I have on and all that other kind of stuff, right? So, um, and thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you for keeping the hearts going. Thank you for sharing, Mama Louise. Thank you for inviting uh, Essence. Thank you for inviting Funk Master. I know that Periscope has been kind of funky today. Um, I kept getting kicked out of scopes for the past few days. Um, I actually tried to start this scope earlier, but I could not get a signal at all. So, Hey, Raven Temptress, welcome. I love you too, Mama Louise. So let me just get started, okay? Now, <clears throat> I um, also used a concealer. Now, the concealer that I used is not drugstore, but we will get into that after I cover the two drugstore items. Hi, hi, how are you? Welcome. And if you guys are not already following me, please make sure you hit the little Perry guy or Perry girl in the... Uh, in the I want to say in the curtain because I'm looking at that shower curtain behind me. In the corner and uh, follow, okay? So, okay. So you guys are always asking me about the best foundations, affordable foundations, full coverage versus sheer versus medium coverage, right? So we know that the world kind of went crazy when Milani released that they're coming out with this foundation. And I was like, mm, okay, I have a ton of foundation. Do I really want to go try it? Because I actually have a ton of foundation that I actually really love. I love my Infatuated Cosmetics Foundation. I love my Estee Lauder Foundation. I love my Laura Mercier Foundation. I love my Revlon Foundation. I love all that stuff, right? So I'm like, do I really need to buy another foundation? But I went to the store and I tested it out. Now, I think they have about 14 or 15 shades and I think they have a pretty nice range. Of course, it could go deeper. It could go deeper for, for all of my deep toned beauties. It could go a little deeper, but I do challenge you to go out and swatch it. Yes, I am the girl that is okay with you opening drugstore makeup and trying it. I'm sorry. I, listen, I know they say not to do that. and I know technically you're not supposed to do that. But if it's something like this that you can sanitize it, they should have a tester out anyways. But if they don't have a tester... You can ask them to get a tester and then um, have them open it and try it in the store. They have most drugstores actually have a beauty concierge now, okay? So, and thank you for keeping the hearts going, you guys. I really appreciate it, okay? So, um, I usually, I haven't been blocking the trolls lately, but Crom, man, you're being kind of rude, so I have to block you, baby. Sorry. All right, you guys, so... I went ahead, and by the way, the one that I opened is the one that I bought, okay? But... <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that from me. Okay, so this is the new Milani foundation. It's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I am a 08 Light Tan. It's medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, water-resistant, and smudge-proof. Now, um... You guys who have seen me a lot without makeup, and for any of you guys who may have seen me in person, you guys know that I have a very kind of, I am pale, but I'm very golden and pale, if that makes any sense. 
I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I'm very golden. Like my, especially in the summertime, I literally turn gold. That's the best. This, that's the best way to describe. Are you guys still here with me? I don't see the hearts. I don't see the comments, but that's the best way to describe kind of my tone. I'm more gold than pink pale, if that makes any sense. So I'm more orange yellow pale than pink pale, right? Hey, Viviani, what's up? So when I first saw this, I looked at the bottle and I was like, gosh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool toned. Hey, Sergio, my love, how are you? I looked at this and I'm like, this is kind of cool toned for me because I... I'm not cool toned, right? And I already had on makeup. And if you look at, did I take it away? I might have put it away. Um, I already had on makeup and I was like, hmm, I'm not sure, right? So thank you, love. I've been great. How are you, Sergio? I miss you. So I actually tested it here. I said, well, you know what? Let me test it here on my de decolletage, right? And so I was at the store and I actually had a bunch of splotches of foundation right here because I was testing makeup on my chest. So I said, let me test it here because I had foundation on, I had MAC foundation on, you know, they kind of oxidize. After, after a few hours, MAC oxidizes. I had on MAC foundation that day and I was beginning to oxidize. So I was like, I can't test it on my face or right here. I'm gonna test it here, right? So I was testing it here and I put this one and this one virtually blended into my skin. And I was like, hmm. Okay, so I was like, not only do I not, I don't have to mix it's, and it's a, it is definitely, it's a light tan, which again, you would not think is my tone. It's something very weird about it. And if you look at me now, I'm very, it's the Milani one. Yes, the Milani one. And it's actually, I thought it, and then I squirreled and I was like, it might be a little thick. I don't like my foundation to feel, I don't, I don't like to feel the foundation on my face. That's a quick way for me to like, put that foundation down, right? So I was like, well, let's try it, let's try it. I'm in love, you guys. Now, I put it on, now, what it does not give me, and I'm used to wearing foundation that's en enriched sometimes with, like, illuminators and things like that because that's my thing. I love a dewy finish. So I use, like, MSF Natural a lot and things, and I just was like, hmm, huh, okay. But I love the finish now. And if you look at me, you can see I actually do match from here to here, right? Which is the goal. Even if your face is not this color, you want to look solid from here. And I'm all pulling down my shirt, you know, but I'm not being dirty minded. But if you guys look, I'm all one color. And that's the goal with your foundation is to be all one color. So even if you have to match this to this, even if they're not the same color, you're not, you need to, whatever color your chest and your neck is, that's what color foundation you should have to buy, right? Hello, Deli Candice. So, um, I actually am in love with this foundation. I will pump out a little bit just so you guys can see the consistency. It's very thick. You can see it's not running. I also did not conceal any of my blemishes beforehand <coughs> because I wanted to see if this indeed perfect and conceal. And if you guys look, you see no blemishes. So, right essence? So... And you guys see, it is not running. It is staying on my hand. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't running here. It ain't running there. It is, that thing is not moving. And so I thought it might have been thick beyond my comfort zone. Oh my God. I thought it would have been thick beyond my comfort zone, to be honest with you. But it actually blends down very, very nicely and buffs into the skin very, very well. Now, this is not new. For those of you who support my boy... Uh, Patrick Star, you guys know, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste this foundation because I can't waste products. I'm gonna put it on. Okay, hey Angel. So, you guys know that I love, <laughs> you guys know that I love Patrick Star. For those of you who know me, Patrick Star is actually the reason that I downloaded the Periscope app and it was so I could stalk him even more, right? So, he always uses air spun for those of you i've had i've had this air spun for like it was in the graveyard i've had this air spun since last year oh girl test your makeup and wear something to test it on your decolletage okay so this is what are you talking about this is the foundation if you guys want to take screenshots Okay, that's the foundation. I am a light tan. of So light tan is number eight. I'm very light, okay? 
So if you're a little darker than me, you can't wear this, okay? Literally, this matches me exactly. If you are slightly, you, 08 is not your color, okay? You can't, this stuff is dead on. You can't play with it. You need to take it, test it on your decolletage and make sure, okay? Decolletage, however you say that word, whatever, okay? So now this is air spun, okay? It's a loose face powder. You can use it to, now I know some of you girls, some of, some of the kids, okay? I know you guys are into baking. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, some people don't like it because it has a scent. Um, the foundation is by Milani. Airspun is by Airspun. <laughs> this is Airspun. Now, I've had this since last year. I never used it because I love my Ben Nye powders. I now have my... Um, I also don't finish my makeup with loose powder. My makeup. I Now, clients, I finish with loose powder. My makeup, I usually finish a foundation with a foundation. So if I'm wearing a liquid foundation, I finish it with a powder foundation, right? Which sometimes you do have to do that to clients, but usually I make sure I, I layer them well enough to where I can finish with finishing powder, okay? So this stuff is amazing. I used it to bake. It's really, I, baking is literally just setting your foundation, but making sure you're setting it well, like plastering it on there. That's what it is, okay? So, are you guys still here with me? Let, I don't see the hearts. I don't see people. Hey, Lady Pow, how are you? Ebony, hey, what's up, Ebony? Y'all, hashtag late Ebony and Lady Pow. Okay, so, um, I use this. We're talking about drugstore products, you guys. So, if you guys missed it, I know you guys just came in. This is the drugstore foundation I'm talking about, ladies. This stuff is amazing, amazing. You can get it in your local drugstore or even if you order it from Milani. Milani sells it on their website for $9.99. Can't beat that. I'm wearing it right now. And I was telling the ladies and gentlemen who are in here, when I bought this foundation, I made sure I went to the drugstore and I tested it here so that I can make sure I match here. So if I back up from the camera, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. It looks like this is just my skin. Because it's a solid, oh, thank you. Because it's a solid, I love when people read my energy and say that it's good. Thank you. So you guys can see that this is a salt. it's continuation is solid. Boom, boom, right? That's what you want. So when you go to the drugstore, if you're confused about how, do not test your makeup here. Some people say test it here. I say don't even test it here because look, my face and my inner arm are completely different colors, right? I say test it here or here. Not your neck. You can test it right here on your jawline or test it on your decolletage, okay? That's where you test your foundation. So, yes, I say, I say, if they don't have a tester, open the foundation at the store. If it's like this. Now, if it's a cream or something, don't you dig your finger in there. But if it's something like this, pump out a little bit. Hey, Pam, I don't tell my age, but I'm I'm of age. I'm grown. I know I have this uh, bun right now, but I'm a grown-up. Um... <laughs> So, what I did was um, set my concealer, which today I use my Kevin Aquan concealer. I use my Kevin Aquan concealer. Now, you guys, this concealer retails for about like $48. I got it at the makeup show 60% off, which means I didn't pay full price for it, and I never will pay full price for it. But I got it for about 60% off. You get a lot of product in here. Look at all that you get in there, okay? It's amazing. Hey, Terry. It's really amazing. You get a ton of product in these little pots from Kevin Aquan. All right? Um, it's worth it. Now, listen. I know that I'm a MAC Pro Longwear girl. I know that some of you guys are NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Girls. I'm also newly a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Girls because guess who gets a pro discount on NARS now? That's right me so i just got the the radiant creamy concealer i got a bottle of it for 40 percent off yay so i am now a radiant creamy concealer girl as well i dig it okay but um i have to admit you guys this is this is better than both of those this is this is way better than mac pro Longwear, and then it's better than radiant creamy because it leaves a little high it's better than radiant creamy concealer i'm sorry i'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings but this stuff is um it can it, it now it's not cheap but this pot if you're using it for personal use and not on clients it will literally last you forever 
I used, I will show you, you see that little dab right there where I scraped off the side? I used a dab, I used that entire dab to do my face today. I highlighted, I did the bridge of my nose, and if you look closely, because of contour, you can, I'm going to let you guys see the lines, okay, which you, they're not really lines, but you guys see that, if you look closely, you can see where I highlighted the bridge to, to kind of make my eyes look wider, and then highlighted down my nose, of course, concealed underline, under my eyes, highlighted my forehead, highlighted my cupid bow, and highlighted my chin. I did all that with that dot of concealer from Kevin Aquan. If you are willing to invest in a concealer and you know it's going to last you a long time, I say go and invest in this Kevin Aquan concealer, okay? Just, just saying. Just saying. If you're willing to invest 50 bucks in a concealer, that's your girl right there. That's your guy. Whatever you want it to be, that's her, okay? So I set the Kevin Aquan concealer with the airspun powder. My make, it literally took 20, 30 seconds for this to set that concealer. Bomb. If I looked at it, I was like, it's set enough. I didn't have any transfer when I wiped. It was good. And this is like $3 at the, at the drugstore. $3 at the drugstore. So if you guys are looking for an affordable setting powder, this, and it's kind of like peachy tone. So uh, one thing I learned from Sam Fine, you guys, is that when you're a woman or a man of color, your setting power should always be tinted. So it doesn't have to be brown. Um, it doesn't have to be tan, but it should be tinted to help with your pigmentation. So if you're using a white translucent powder and you're a woman or a man of color, you should not be, okay? Um, so also on my lips, I am using Orange County by NYX. This is another drugstore item. These are the NYX suede lipsticks. Now, when you apply these, you make sure that you smudge then apply. Smudge, then apply. If you try to use the brush or the applicator on here to even out your lipstick, it won't work. You'll have what I like to call holes. So it'll be like orange here and then peach here because it's not even. So you need to you do apply and then smudge, okay? That's the best way to apply these lipsticks to get the best coverage out of them, okay? So, um, and I, I did my eyebrows today with NYX, uh, a NYX pencil. So almost everything except for the concealer that I used today was a drugstore, okay? So you guys can look good. And like I said, I'm not full-faced right now, clearly. I just have one. I just wanted to, ha I just did my complexion and lipstick and uh, mascara and um, eyeliner. So and the I think the mascara is L'Oreal Telescopic and the eyeliner is by LA Girl. So today is a whole drugstore look. I probably should have... I probably should have done this on, on camera for you guys so you guys could see how to put a whole drugstore look together. Note to self, do it on camera so you guys can see how to put a drugstore look together. I mean, do you guys want a drugstore look video? We can do a drugstore look video. I do drugstore looks every day and y'all don't even know I'm wearing drugstore products. That's how I get down. Oh, shut up, Candace. I already know you're going to say something. I thought you were going, nah. All right, so I'm going to check out. I just wanted to keep this video short so that the people, the replay viewers can watch it all the way through. Um, if you're not in beauty scopers, yeah, Pam, unfollow me, then follow me back. I don't know what to do, Pam, la, la, la. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, for just a real quick recap, I know, a real quick recap, Milani Foundation, if you're, and like I said, I did not conceal any blemishes, Okay. I did not conceal any blemishes. Oh, and the highlighter. Oh, I did highlight and use a blush. Pam, I'm glad you're here. My Pamela La La sent me NARS Orgasm. Pam. Yeah, Essence, we want to see what you do with it too, okay? Make sure you post something so we'll know. Uh, Pam sent me the NARS Orgasm blush. So I used her today very lightly just to give me a hint of color. Make it look like I'm rosy cheek. And I used the new, um, did I take it out of here? No. MAC came out with new highlighters last week. If you guys wait one second, I'll get it. I'm sorry, I took it out. Wait one second, one second.
Okay, sorry, I'm back. I always do that, you guys. Y'all ought to be used to me by now. MAC came out with new highlighters, okay? So I bought two of them. I didn't love all of them, but I bought two of them. One is called Nuanced. This is how it looks. Um, they're MSF highlighters, so they're going to have that mineralized kind of glow to them, okay? So this is one. I bought this for the girls like me, the kind of pale, peachy, golden girls. I could use this on the peachy girls and use this side like on the golden girls or just kind of do one swirl of it all. These are really pretty. Now, what they remind me of, um, I'm going to tell you the truth. And maybe I'll do a comparison video so you guys can see the difference. These are not even touching. They're not even holding a candle to the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. They're not doing it. Sorry, it's not, the, it's not it. These are not, these are not going. Now, they have the same color tones as the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Not doing it. But what I do like about these highlighters is this. Now, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes have highlighters that you can see from the moon, which is what I like. But if you want something that gives you that glow from within, kind of like the Hourglass Ambient palettes, if you want something that just kind of looks like, oh, she's so pretty. She has a natural, like, I think this would be great for, like, bridal, right? Because it just, you would just look like you woke up and the sun just kissed you. That's what these look like. I woke up, it's breakfast time, I have no makeup on, but I just have beautiful, glowy, healthy skin. That's what these give you. If you want that YouTube, Instagram highlight, that wham wham, girl, I see you from space highlight, get the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, okay? But I do like them for that. And I'm wearing them now. I, hi I, did my, I highlighted my nose, my highlight area, and I did my cheek. So you can see the highlight there. They do have a nice inside-out glow to them, but they're not a flat-out in-your-face glow like the Anastasia palette, okay? So I also bought this one. It's the same um, thing, but it's for deeper tones. So this one's really pretty. These are, this one's called Naturally Enhanced Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. So it's also an MSF. And I love this one. I cannot wait till I get a brown girl. If you're a brown girl and you want me to do your makeup so that I can test this out on you, call me. Okay? Um, I cannot wait till the next time I do a brown girl. I cannot wait to just swirl all of these colors together and kill her face off with this. This is going to be amazing, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Like, those are so pretty. So, again, they're, they have a very subtle glow to them. You, the camera is barely picking it up. But they have a very subtle just glow to them. They're not going to give you that, that wham like Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters do or like Becca highlighters do, but they're pretty good. Oh, girl, I didn't know you were in New York. You know I've been in New York twice already this year, girl. I don't know when I'm going back. Probably toward the end of the year. Probably September for Fashion Week. But yeah, girl, if I have time, I'd love to. Love to. I would do my sister's face, but she gets on my nerve. No, I might do it. Anyway, so that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to roll out. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, for those of you who are coming in, we are checking out. Make sure you catch the replay to review uh, to see the products that we reviewed today. And as always, I hope that you guys stay beat and blessed. Thank you for being here. If you're not already a part of Beauty Scopers, make sure you go to perrybeautyscopers.com and click join. Bye. See you later.